first sign of Nibiru? Solar storm to blast Earth as huge hole opens in Sun. Solar radiation sent firing into space after a huge hole ripped open in the Sun is expected to blast Earth today. Hot plasma, which spewed from the Sun leaving the monster hole in the corona, the Sun's upper atmosphere, will hurtle towards Earth at 2 million miles an hour. The U.S. Space Weather Prediction Center has predicted the stormy conditions have a 50 to 60 percent likelihood that the storm will continue again tonight. Solar storms are caused when the sun's magnetic field lines open up, allowing hot plasma to spill into space and sending out intense gusts of solar wind. When they reach Earth, they send charged particles racing along our planet's magnetic field lines toward the poles where they slam into the atmosphere. The incoming particles energize air molecules, triggering auroras like the northern lights. At their strongest, solar storms can affect electrical equipment and grids, and knock out satellite and radio equipment. However, believers of the popular Nibiru myth are claiming solar storms are a sign of the arrival of the alleged planet. The Nibiru or Planet X theory claims a mini solar system consisting of a sun, planets and moons is lurking on the edge of our solar system with a huge 3,600 miles orbit of the sun. A solar flare is an intense burst of radiation coming from the release of magnetic energy associated with sunspots. Flares are our solar system's largest explosive events. They are seen as bright areas on the sun and last from mere minutes to several hours. Solar flares are powerful bursts of radiation, appearing as giant flashes of light in the STO images. Harmful radiation from a flare cannot pass through Earth's atmosphere to physically affect humans on the ground. The sun unleashed a powerful flare on the 4th of November 2003. The extreme ultraviolet imager in the 195A mission line aboard the SOHO spacecraft captured the event. This image shows extreme ultraviolet light that highlights the hot solar material in the sun's atmosphere. The source of the flare is the same region, named AR 2192, that produced an X1.1 class flare. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory (SDO) captured this image of an M7.9 class flare on March 13, 2012 at 1.29 p.m. A solar flare erupted on the far side of the sun on June 4, 2011, and sent solar neutrons out into space. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory captured this image of a mid-level solar flare, an M8.7 class. Dash as seen in the bright flash in the middle. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory captured an image of a mid level solar flare on March 7, 2015, seen as a bright flash of light on the left side of the Sun. This flare is classified as an M5 flare. M class flares are 10 times less powerful than the most intense flares, called X class flares. The image blends two wavelengths of extreme ultraviolet light. 131 and 171 angstroms, which are typically colored in teal and gold, respectively. X class flares are the most powerful of all solar events. Seen here is an image of the flare captured by the X ray telescope on Inode. This image shows an emission from plasma heated to greater than 8 million degrees during the energy release process. Nibiru believers are convinced the rogue system is making its way from the outer solar system inwards, where it will wreak havoc on Earth as it passes at about 4 million miles away. They say the planet will cause the poles to switch, sparking great earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Believers now claim it will be on an approach path with the Earth between November 20th and December 20th. Some Nibiru believers are convinced a strong solar storm could be a sign Nibiru is nearly upon us. One is Christian conspiracy theorist and Nibiru believer David Mead, who writes for PlanetXnews.com. He wrote on the website, What if an X-60 solar flare leaps from the sun when Planet X approaches? The coronal mass ejection, CME, heads straight towards Earth. What will happen? How much warning will we have? 
He then warned how a strong solar flare could mean Nibiru was nearing. Solar Storm NASA Nibiru warning? Huge holes open up in the sun as plasma is ejected into space. Mr. Mead said, this type of event may be our first overt sign of the nearness of the approach of Planet X. The CME is a slow-moving cloud of charged particles. It is accompanied by an X-ray burst. Both have devastating effects. The X-ray burst travels at the speed of light and would reach Earth's surface in eight minutes. U.S. Space Agency NASA says there is no link between Nibiru and solar storms, which happen infrequently when plasma ejects from the sun, because the former does not exist. The Nibiru myth emerged in 1976, when writer Zechariah Sitchin claimed two ancient Middle Eastern cultures, the Babylonians and Sumerians, told of a giant planet dubbed Nibiru which orbited the sun. NASA insists that conspiracy theorists like Mr. Mead are completely wrong, and the Nibiru myth is an internet hoax. The colorful, towering spikes swept over the horizon as the Earth's magnetic field was hit during a geomagnetic storm, creating the Aurora Borealis in the Northern Hemisphere, which was witnessed as far in south as Shrewsbury. The one place on Earth that's safe for humans when Planet X arrives. Dr. David Morrison, a NASA scientist, said, there is no credible evidence whatever for the existence of Nibiru. There are no pictures, no tracking, no astronomical observations. I can quite specifically say how we know Planet X or Nibiru does not exist and does not threaten Earth. Firstly, if there was a planet headed into the inner solar system that was going to come close to the Earth, it would already be inside the orbit of Mars. It would be bright, it would be easily visible to the naked eye, if it was up there it would be easy to see it, all of us could see it. Space boffin Dr. Brian Cox has also insisted Planet X does not exist. And Associate Professor John T. Horner, an astronomer at the University of Southern Queensland in Australia, said, I've never heard of anybody who's an actual astronomer talk about Nibiru before. It's basically an urban myth it's like having a biologist coming out and talking about werewolves and the Sasquatch being real. You just wouldn't hear it.